possible for us oh, but, uh, to comprehend that the universe had a beginning. Because maybe, just, just that, just that point yeah, yeah. that the universe had a beginning. Do you believe it had a beginning or it what I'm existed is eternally? That maybe well, the way. Well, uh, 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 yeah, so I'll say like so. Make it possible, like uh, you know, the prime, uh, you know, um, you what you do it uh, to a degree is like you're looking at a lot of rules which like totally apply in the universe. But then when you're talking about the beginning of the universe and the start of the universe, you have to talk about stuff which is uh, you know totally outside of our experience, which might not uh, um, operate in, a, in the same way. Which is to say that things you know out inside the universe, are weird, that's where we are. You know everything ha you know might require like a beginning and an end. You know when you get to the universe itself, you're not talking about stuff inside the universe anymore. You uh, you know the totally different rules might apply. Hey man, yeah, do, definitely. The other thing is true. So maybe it's a time. People believe that back in uh, back in the day, and dude, we, just, we just totally don't know about shit which goes. Uh, go, go. No, but the scientists have given us like even an approximate date about like 14 billion years old. Yeah. So that tells us that the universe has a beginning, and it has, it is now expanding. So these things look. So the, the, the scientists have actually come. Just just one second. The scientists have already told us that the universe is expanding. We don't need Who to be. We don't need. Be? I think Who it is the majority. The, the majority of them. Look it up. But the majority of them I'm, are, I'm have come sure to the. The consensus in science is that how the the, the, the universe began. No, no, I'm talking about expansion. I'm talking about expansion. The universe is expanding. So this this brother here is saying that you don't need. Uh, we are not inside. We are we, we are not in, sorry because we are inside the universe, so we cannot understand uh, the whole of the universe how it operates. But they have told us the age of the universe approximately obviously yeah. they have told us that the universe is expanding mm -hmm. they told us several things about the big bang they told us about the earliest uh, possibilities of what things were during the um, earliest stages of the uh, of, of the uh, of the universe coming into existence and so on and these are obviously these are hypotheses yeah these yeah. are theories I'm not denying that but they have they have got they can substantiate it scientifically so we're not talking about all those nitty-gritty bits. All I'm saying is that, look, if we, if we narrow it down to the cause of the universe, do you think it could have come from nothing by itself, popping out of nothing? That is the fundamental nylon? difference in our argument, though. I don't, I don't think we've been able to put across correctly, okay? Yeah. This, the whole point is that our belief is that we cannot think in the context of something and nothing beginning and time when, with what Max was saying because you're dealing with the creation of the universe the rules that we use right now may totally not apply so what, the rules, something coming from nothing that is quite no, no, but something like, like coming from nothing totally you're happens. still working within the rules of the context of how the universe works it's totally these possible. are scientific rules cause and effect no, but you they're pretty scientific they're out, out, you know, the science is literally like a process of you know deduction and discovery right exactly yeah. which is to say that it is a scientific on, approach it's, yeah it's 100% based on induction yeah. which is to say not deduction and logic, which is the other thing, uh, you know, which is to say that, like, is 100% based on phenomena which has happened inside the universe. You know, okay, like, so let me, scientific, let know, me get this right. Are you, are you saying, outside the universe, okay, let me get this. Are you saying there's a possibility for the universe to come from nothing? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Okay, do you know what nothing is? That's the thing, is, is, is no, wait, nothing. I, I want to know from him because he said it. That's his claim. Do, uh, well, dude, I, you know, look, you asked me to defend a random possibility. No, like, it's not a random possibility. Do you think nothing even exists? You can define nothing in a, in a, in a number of ways. It depends on what you mean by nothing. Right? How do you define it? How do I define it? Again, uh, what I'm saying is that you can define nothing in a number of different ways. Uh, you, you, could, you could say... Go on, give it a shot. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're, I'm serious. Missing point, you're, missing the, you're missing the point of what I'm saying. I'm not. Okay, well. Because you said there is a possibility for it to come from nothing. Yeah. Hence, I asked you, let's define nothing. Because okay, as okay. far as I'm concerned, okay. nothing doesn't even exist. Right. It's a concept. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right. What do you mean that's fine? Okay. okay. No, I mean, I'll, I'll, <laughs> if it doesn't exist, no, how can no, no, something no, not exist? No, I'm saying I'll yeah. define it for you. So okay, let's, go on, let's, define okay, it. let's say um, uh, no uh, space and uh, no time uh, as nothing. How about that? What about energy? Uh, okay, no energy too. Okay. Does it exist? Um, uh, yeah, you could. Uh, you could. Uh, no, you could. It's you, remember? Okay, let's uh, let, uh, let's say uh, it doesn't exist. No, no, not let's say. Are you sure it does exist or doesn't exist? Oh well, we. Oh, you're not sure. We already said that our position is we don't know. Do you? Like, so you don't know if nothing even exists or not. It could easily not exist. Now. So something that doesn't have weight, that doesn't have, uh, doesn't occupy space or time or even energy, is that such a thing? Uh, 
so is, as in like Ilster, it doesn't have volume. What if I told what if I told you what if I told you it was just a concept? And it's it's in order for us. It would only be just the concept. I mean, like in the sense that there's no, uh, you know, we can't touch that sort of stuff. Okay, let me define define nothing, and you tell me if you agree. Okay, right? To me, nothing is the absence of everything. Okay, this, this is the classic one we've heard before. I mean, no, but do you agree or disagree with that? Uh, it depends on what is included in everything, obviously. Absence of everything. I'm not saying including everything. Absence of everything. Okay, but everything, so anything that you can think of, but everything is anything that exists. Is the absence of all that. Uh -huh. That is what nothing is. Do you agree with that definition or do you disagree? Okay, we can and if you disagree, it. tell me why. Okay, we are. Oh, we, uh, so we're getting into the typical speaker's corner thing of like, what about this little intricacy of nothing? What did you expect that? when you came to speaker's no, 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 corner? But no, Something no, no, other than no, speaker's corner? Said to you, no, no, but as in, it always happens. Come on, it's part of critical debate. thinking, you know? No, 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 it no, is. No, but this is the thing is, we, we've gone outside of the main point. And the main point we're saying to you is, we don't have to start explaining to you, like, where it came from, start, beginning or finish, because we've said to you from the very start that what we're saying is the reason we may not be able to explain how it started is because maybe the way that it started may be outside of our brain's ability to comprehend. No, but is it so if we cannot comprehend it, then we actually can't even discuss it because we can't comprehend it. The way our brain works, and our brain works on everything having a start, a finish, and you know, we understand the concept of you know nothing, like you're saying, something where there isn't anything. All these things that are based on our everyday experience, how the framework where we form ideas, maybe the way that the universe was created is completely outside of that rule. Okay. Okay. So why is that? Why? That's world. the thing. I'm asking yeah. you because the universe is something. From the naturalistic world, it is something that exists which we already agreed upon earlier. Yeah. Why would the rules apply differently to something that exists? I mean, a lot of people, then, then everything people, else that exists. A lot of people now are saying that the universe is a simulation. We're inside of a simulation. You know? Do you believe that? I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, so let's not take. No, but a lot of no, 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 wait. Let's not, let's not agree. It is pseudoscience. Come on. No, but a lot of credible people are saying that. Really? Give yeah. me one credible scientist who said this is an illusion. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a credible scientist. Of course he's a about the scientist. about the universe. Huh? I mean, you asked me for a credible scientist. No, credible scientist no, in, hang on, so in terms you asked of me for a credible scientist. Credible scientist in the field of astronomy. Oh, well, in that case, I don't know. Exactly. So okay. let's go with the with the experts rather than people who are just sim who believe that they are an illusion. No, okay. but hang on a sec. So, uh, what we're talking about? If you, you know, earlier you said it's beyond our scope to understand these yes. things. Yeah. I asked you. I asked him the definition of nothing. Is that beyond your scope, or is that within your scope? No, no, no. no. This is the thing. Is, is that's why this conversation gets to a dead end. Okay? No, it doesn't. Because, it doesn't. Because you can be totally beyond our scope, which is to say that the term yeah. nothing. Extra, wait, wait. If the term nothing is beyond your scope, dude, then dude. I think everything is beyond your scope. Dude, dude, dude. An extra you know why? Because that is one of the most. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like an extra universal nothing, a nothing which is a nothing totally, you know, it's divorced from every non-existent. It's not happens outside the universe, dude. Like, the, the, you know, the the that could be totally outside our scope because we have absolutely no idea what it what it, what it would be and what it would entail. You know, but, well, are you talking about nothing still? I'm still talking about nothing. Seriously. Again. So you really think that nothing is something? Okay, what is your definition of nothing? I would like to know. So I agree with your definition of nothing. Uh, what, what you said, nothing is where there is there isn't anything. It's the absence right? of everything. The absence of yeah. everything. Yeah. In fact, I believe and I know actually that nothing doesn't exist. It's it's a concept. It's like infinity. Do you think infinity exists? Yeah, I agree. It's a concept. Like it's a, it's yeah. a concept. Nothing. So you know, in, in in mathematics, we we represent nothing with zero. Yeah. Yes. And infinity with the symbol infinity. Yeah. Yes. So this is in order for us to communicate, in order for us to formulate things, in order for for us. Yeah. It is it is it is a means of communication. It means for us to represent certain things. Yes. It's, 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 it's basically language. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so if anyone says that, oh, hold on, actually nothing could be something, then they do not understand nothing. And that's the reason I asked you. One of the ways to actually rule out that the universe came from nothing would be to identify what nothing is. Because if it doesn't exist, then it cannot bring about something that does exist. Okay. Okay? And I think that is within our scope. Okay. Okay. okay? That's all I'm saying. So if you rule out nothing, then what remains is it must have come from something or by itself or it was 
existing eternally. These are the possibilities I can think of. I don't know if you, can, if you want to add more yeah, yeah, possibilities. Yeah. So, no, so I agree. Then go ahead. Within, within the way we comprehend things, all of that makes sense. But yeah. that's the whole point is things that we can't comprehend is things that we physically could not discuss because we could not comprehend them. Yeah. So we cannot so, comprehend so, things yeah. about, uh, for example, if you're coming purely from a scientific background and only from the belief in a naturalistic world, then you will deny everything that is metaphysical. What is, so what is metaphysical mean? I don't know. Yeah. What's metaphysical? metaphysical is something that is beyond the physical world. By the way, this is Brother Sabu is quite an expert in this field, much better than me, that's why I call no, him. No, no, no. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is that because yeah. if you believe in a naturalistic world, yes. then everything beyond, for example, do you believe you have a you have consciousness? I know, I know. What consciousness? No, but I want to show you an example of uh, a metaphysical entity which you have no no option but to believe. You know why? You're asking me if I believe it, if I have consciousness. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm conscious in the sense that I make decisions that I think I am conscious. What are you? Yeah, I, I, I reckon so, but you know, I know, I know you always get over the uh, other scenario. But the thing yeah. is that we're getting into this intricate conversation, which is fine. But the context of why we said when someone asked us, do we believe in the universe? Thanks. When someone asked us, do we believe in the universe? We said we don't know. It's because we were having a debate as to whether God exists and our reasons for being atheists, right? So if we start this whole conversation into all these intricacies of why we believe, you know, whatever, um, then we need to remember the context of where we're saying. Yeah. So, as, as the brother just said, we are discussing about the universe, its existence, um, trying to understand whether this is within the scope of us as human beings to ponder into that kind of conversation and also whether we also discussed briefly about whether it came from something or nothing. So this is where we are at present. If you want to add something to that. What, what, what's your name, sorry? Alexi. Alexi and Max. Max. My name is Sabur. So are you guys like atheists or agnostics? Like, what's the world they say atheists? I don't believe in God. Not yeah, so like the classic thing to do is the Dawkins thing, which is to say, you know, like, you know, agnostic atheist, which is to say, like, you know, you don't believe there's a, a God, which is to say you're an atheist. But, you know, yeah, obviously, you're you're obviously, you're obviously, you're obviously, dude, like, you can't know everything for certain. So, uh, so you, 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 know, you could be an agnostic atheist in that. Sure. Sure. And like, did you mention Dawkins and agnostic atheism? But I'm assuming you've read some of his stuff. Familiar with I've read some of his stuff. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Now, the God Delusion. Uh, I read it like years ago. Okay. The God Delusion, which is which sort of captures um, the main sort of argument that atheists have today, which is that biological design is an illusion, right? So biological design, we can no longer say is due to God. They would say it's due to biological evolution. And then they'll make an extrapolation for the universe and say the universe is likely not to be designed either. Right? So the central argument of the God delusion is God most probably doesn't exist. So it's that type of agnostic atheism. About that, what's your view on that? Uh, uh, with regards to like um, biological evolution. Uh, yeah, I, I, I buy it, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, the variety of species on uh, is uh, likely the result of um, a natural selection. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and, um, and uh, basically, with regards to the, the universe, like, there's a level in which you can apply that, which is to say that stuff which, um, you know, uh, uh, has a hard time, as, you know, you know, which you've got, you know, uh, the, the, there's a level which that, you know, that might affect the universe, which is to say that, like, uh, you would expect, um, you know, so, like, uh, for instance, uh, you know, one thing is much more rare than another thing, or like, um, you know, one, uh, you know, one type of like organization of planets, uh, you know, uh, dominates another sort. Then, you know, this might lead to predominance of one sort or another. But, um, but uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm totally sketchy on like, you know, Darwinian evolution applying to stuff outside of uh, the, you know, the origin of uh, various different species. Okay. And about his point, where he makes God 
and biological evolution mutually exclusive. What, what's your view on that? Uh, the, uh, God and the biological evolution are not God, which is to say, a in the context, it depends on how you define God. Obviously, uh, you know, you can have uh, you know maybe Thor doesn't uh, mix with it, but you know you can have a God which is like a creator God, or uh, um, uh, which uh, which uh, was compatible with biological evolution. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Um, so, would you sort of be sympathetic to him that he sees biological evolution undermining the existence of God, the traditional argument for the existence of God, such as design? Uh, so, like, my understanding is, so, um, it, so it might undermine specific gods, which is to say that, like, um, there are traditions in, and religious traditions uh, which um, are. Um, which uh, specifically um, uh, deny uh, biological evolution. Uh, certain sects of Protestantism will definitely do that. And uh, therefore, it, you could say that uh, if we've observed this thing, or this is a very sort, uh, sensible theory, then this puts serious doubt in, uh, in uh, uh, these particular uh, theories. So, um, but uh, depending on, uh, but when it comes to design, obviously you can have uh, you can have your god depending on your conception of him, who's uh, you know guides and directs evolution, for example. Sure. See, see, that's a very good point because one of the issues that exists with Dawkins' view is that he tries to make it as if it's God for evolution, but like you rightly pointed out, you can have a view in which God and biological evolution is compatible. But the biggest problem with his actual view is the way that he projects biological evolution and Darwinian evolution in particular to be something unassailable, right? To be something undeniable. But for example, you mentioned natural selection being the main mechanism of biological evolution, right? Are you aware of other mechanisms that this actually challenges to biological evolution? Uh, yeah, I've heard some guys talk about, uh, like, I've heard, I've heard mathematical um, uh, exceptions to uh, Darwinian national, uh, natural selection. I'm not an expert on, on uh, you know, uh, the science of this and the other, but I'm aware that, you know, like, not every super smart chap, you know, thinks, uh, you know, Darwinian natural selection is like 100% exactly how it happened all the way you know, from the start to the finish. You know, so, but, but hey, dude, I'm, I'm no expert. Yeah. So the main point which I'm trying to get across is that his very simplistic view in which he pits God and evolution against each other is something that we should be very skeptical of. We have no relation to Dawkins. Like, for me, I don't buy it. I've, I've heard Dawkins before, but as far as I'm concerned, maybe he just wants to sell books, so he just sells controversial stuff. So yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you don't consider him as an authority in this, I, I, when, in this when, when it comes to Dawkins, I've heard him, and when I was younger, I listened to it. So thinking about it, it really... It, it, in no way plays a part in my thinking of God not existing. Uh, so, like, I'll, I'll, I'll take up the chance. Just to so you say sounded that. like a fan earlier. Hey, dude. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude. Well, I, mean, I listened to him. And, uh, hey, dude, uh, you know, if you're talking about God and atheism, you're going to hear Dawkins say eventually. You know, and, you know, hey, dude, I'll take up your challenge. But just to say that, like, when it comes to biology, you know, it's way more than me. You know, he's a very smart chap. He's smarter than me. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you guys are way smarter than him. But what I'm saying is that when it comes okay, to biology, saying that. He is, uh, what I'm saying is that. Like, yeah, I'll take him as an authority in biology. He has something on bio says something about biology. Like, you know, uh, you know, I'm not going to straight up say, you know, that's bullshit, you know, unless I have a really good reason. Yeah, the point I was trying to get across is that these types of very simplistic narratives, sure. they're very popular. Like you mentioned, he's very popular. Sure, sure, sure. But when you break it down and you look at it philosophically, a lot of it doesn't make any sense. So the biological argument for God's existence based upon design is not under by Darwinian evolution. This is a common misconception. Uh, loads, of, loads of people that, so like, uh, surely, I, I've never had an issue with, I've never thought the idea of God and evolution clash. For me, that's never even done it. But for me, it's totally outside that remit. I'm not looking at evolution somehow suggesting God doesn't exist. I'm saying nobody has shown me evidence that God exists for okay. the reason that God Okay, so that's a, good se that's a good segue for the design argument. Yeah. using biology, right? So if you look at the design of the human body, and if you look at the way that we are well adapted to our environment, and we also adapt the environment to our needs, this intricate system is calling out for a designer. 
So how do you explain that as an atheist? Why does it mean that it's calling out for a designer? Yeah, so I mean, like, uh, so let me just uh, add in quickly here, which is to say that, yeah, I mean, like, you know, on the intelligent and design argument, like, you know, definitely, you know, a very classic intelligent, pre-Darwin, you, know, uh, uh, you know, intelligent design argument, you know, could he, you know, could be fall, fall down at areas because they haven't taken into account uh, uh, evolution. And uh, on the uh, on the regards to like um, you know the human body, uh, you know uh, having a, I mean I don't wish to assume anything, but like you know if you talk about stuff like you know the ISO, uh, you know uh, great and complex and things work very well and it's uh, you know, mechanically very very sensibly designed. Um, you know you can say you know uh, you by providing stuff like evolutionary mechanisms for how these sorts of things can happen, and uh, you know uh, and providing an argument for why an intelligent designer might not be necessary for various things. You know, you do argue against an intelligent design, uh, you know, specific intelligent design arguments. The other aspect is, with regards to intelligent design, you could have a million different intelligent designs, which is to say that, you know, the design that we have right now is not necessarily, you know, the most obvious and best. So if you have a, like, you know, one of the, uh, uh, the uh, you know, things would be, you know, why, uh, why is the, uh, you know, eagles can see much further than human beings, for example, right? You know, other animals have uh, various other benefits. Whales basically don't get cancer. You know, like, um, uh, you know, you can have theoretically better design that a uh, super intelligent designer could have. Right? So, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I don't buy the intelligent design argument, but like, and, uh, and yeah, you can use evolution to, um, to, uh, uh, argue against specific intelligent design arguments, you know, you know, which use specific so, I, I agree with some of what you're saying, but there's, uh, uh, there's one part I disagree with. The problem is, anybody can look at any particular design and say this is bad design, and someone else can say this is good design. So, for example, you could argue why is it, why is it that the deer it doesn't have uh, four. Uh, it doesn't have the ability to turn its legs into machine guns and fight off lions. Or why don't we have bulletproof skin? So we we can keep doing this. So you see, per perfection is a very slippery term. Now, for something to be perfect, we have to have a design specification, right? So I'll give you an analogy. Say you walk past a building which is crumbling and is breaking. Now, your friend here, he could say, I think this is bad design because this building is crumbling. And you could say, well, this building was designed for 30 years and we're walking past after 300 years. The Victorians built ruins. Exactly, yeah. So, according to you, it will be good design. According to you, it will be bad design. The arbiter here is design specification, sure. right? So when it comes to the biological arguments that are used for the existence of God, we would argue we have to look at whose idea of design are we speaking about? Sure. And if, if an atheist is to say, and some atheists have said this, human beings get cancer, we die, we have diseases, therefore it's imperfect design. Sure. I could turn around and say, well, what makes you think the design specification is for us to live forever yeah. and for us to have bodies which have no health problems at all? This could be part of the design as well. Uh -huh. um, uh, sure, okay, if you want to have a design like that, you know, uh, that's uh, uh, fine, but then, uh, you know, you're going to have to, uh, um, you know, so then, uh, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, which is to say that, like, um, you know, yeah, but you could, you, what, what you're doing is, um, uh, you're being very uh, dice, which is to say that, you know, you, you know, he could say, you know, okay, the building specification is for 30 years, um, you know, and so it's crumbled, but, you know, how do I know that? Which is to say that, like, you know, maybe it was built 15 days ago and it just collapsed, right? You know, the, the fact that you've got a collapsed building, you know, is not evidence of, like, good design. Some guy says that building's collapsed and that means it's a shit design, right? Or at least it could be better, you know, if it didn't collapse after 30 years. And, you know, that's not saying, well, you know, it's actually fine, you know, no matter what happens. You can point to anything and say that was the design. Yeah. You know, because we're not in the position of the designer, presumably. That, that's my argument, yeah. yeah. So my point is not to say that a person can outright make it ad hoc justification and leave it there. One person can say bad design, one person can say good design, but we both agree there is design. That's the, that's the point that we agree about. The point where we disagree is, what is the design specification? Now, as a Muslim, the design specification for the world is that we were created here for a test, right? 
So God gives us health, but God also gives us uh, uh, the ability as human beings to decay, to have problems. For example, if you look at an average human being, we go through cycles. Everybody gets sick, everybody gets healthy. Okay, I think uh, you like presume something in, in, uh, in an answer, uh, you know, which, I, which um, uh, I, I didn't say, which is to say that, sure. like, you know, there might be, you know, so again, like, you, you talk about like intelligent design, right? And you can have elements of design which are, like, you know, not intelligent, which is the, which is uh, one of the things about um, uh, natural selection, which is to say you have, you know, a design which is architecture, you know, which has come about and has, uh, you know, a number of features. Um, but, uh, you know, and you could say that's a design, you could say good, bad, you know, architecture. And I was using design, um, uh, you know, loosely in that sense. Yep. Well, I haven't, uh, I'll, just, I'll just make it clear, like, I haven't uh, presumed that, you know, there was a, you know, designer and some guy at some point, you know, wrote it, you know, wrote it up in his blueprints and started, and then made it, you know. So, but that, but so. that's what he was, Sabu was saying, that what you might consider as non-intelligent sure. might be there by design. Uh, you, could, you could imagine. So for example, you know, you get, when you cut your finger or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. it registers a pain. Sure. Okay, so maybe you, you might say, oh, why did God not design a body which doesn't register pain? Sure. But maybe that, that was by design so that you can stop the bleeding. Maybe it's in an area where you can't see and you got a cut. But when you have pain, you know immediately. Sure, sure. You know? I, I, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is that, like, I didn't want you to uh, march on too fast and, like, assume that I had agreed to something which I hadn't. I was just kind of. No, no, that's fine. No, no, I, 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 when I, you I, say the word design, they're going to think. When, it, where, when there's a design, there must be a designer. Like, if you want to use a more neutral word, this you could say thing, an arrangement like, yeah. or something but, like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I use the word arrangement, arrangement in the yeah. sense where we start to argue and debate about design. You know, are we optimally designed? You know, I've heard all these arguments before before I would try and make that debate but actually that's not what we're discussing really if we're discussing as to whether I have seen evidence of God existing we've already agreed that if God existed the whole evolution thing all of that could still they, the two ideas could coexist the point that we were initially making uh, with the gentleman earlier is we haven't seen evidence for God existing no, okay. okay so we need to discuss that point okay yeah and then before uh, we start because for me it's a speaker's corner always there's the debate of like well design you know there must be a design blah, blah. to me it's irrelevant until we i've shown been shown evidence that god actually exists so when you say evidence are you looking for empirical evidence what sort of evidence are you looking for well maybe something that you can somehow measure for example we can't yeah, see that's empirical. Why, okay yeah so we can't you know measure, it doesn't, measure okay so well, let, let me explain okay so for example it doesn't have to be something we can see or touch because okay. wi-fi you can't see and touch yeah. okay? no, but you can measure you can it. See that can it measure it right? even if you don't measure wi-fi yeah. you know you can get your phone take a picture send it to somebody you know over here you're talking right? about wireless you're talking about yeah, yeah. so and, and then you could say okay well yeah. but all those can be measured be something like, that's what i'm saying yeah, 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 and all, yeah. the, all, all all of that what you're looking for is empirical evidence no, 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 I'm not necessarily... Uh, what what I, other form like of evidence empirical. would you accept? Other no, no, than I'm empirical. just explaining that it doesn't even have to go that far. Okay. Like, for example, with Wi-Fi, right? I don't know how to empirically take something and measure Wi-Fi, right? I just see a device which so, tells me that. So you're saying that... That, that device is your... As in, as in, that yeah, device so, so, is... That device which, which you're able to yeah, see so the Wi-Fi connection whatever, yeah, yeah. is... is, is but so, you so, can so, so, exactly. so, so it's the effect. So, for example, like dark matter, we can't see it, we can't... But we see the effects of it. Right. So that's that's how that's some scientists say, okay, we dark matter is something that cannot be observed, it cannot be seen, it cannot be touched, but we see oh, the so the consciousness. Oh, so okay, so okay, I think yeah, it's yeah, a good place argument. because the thing is what you're seeing is a lot of if you should come and say, No, I want to see God. And we see that a bit arrogant. What you're seeing, if you can show me, for example, uh, some kind of evidence to yeah, that. Kind of evidence. I think yeah. it's in a good so, place. So, so you know what you said earlier I actually yeah. agree with, but there's one part I disagree with, which is that what we would say is when you talk about evidence, we would use design as evidence for God and we would use biological design yeah, as evidence the word, for God. By, uh, what the, I think what you were saying is by using the word design, it's like design means that it's gone through a process of creation or whatever, okay? I don't see design, I see function. You know, for example, you're talking about the deer, whatever. I see a deer functions in a certain way, right? I don't see any design necessarily, right? Whatever, I don't know. What, forget you, the word design. Okay. I see a function. Oh, okay. okay. It can we? Okay, way, so can the, the first thing that I think we, we should try and agree about 
The word design is inescapable, even if you're a materialistic atheist. Because, uh, because when we're speaking about biological evolution, we're talking about functionality, like you pointed out. And for functionality to even make sense, we have to talk about why that thing does what it does. So design, even, even when it comes to the Dawkinites of the world, or even when it comes to people who are intelligent design proponents, both agree there is design. Okay. The disagreement is the Darwinists would say it's an illusion of design, okay. and the intelligent design proponents would say it is design. Yeah, it is so we can agree design it's, is there. It's, it's, uh, maybe it's because we are trying to comprehend certain things through how we see the world. So for example, when we see an object, the object is usually designed from, from nothing straight away to something, right? So you see a phone, uh, people like to use the phone example, right? When you design a phone, you start with a blank sheet of paper, then you say, okay, whatever, we're going to do this specification, whatever, right? But what if the way that it works is actually slow, intricate building on tiny little aspects, and then because that takes so long or whatever, um, it's actually difficult for us to, to comprehend that this just creates a certain function. You understand yeah, yeah I understand saying? what you're saying. And but actually, a phone is actually kind of similar because I don't think anybody or very few people know how every single component of a phone works, right? Yeah. It's almost like a hive mind thing of where, you know, for example, in, when you design a car, an engineer of a car own, works in their own little component and they forget about everything else. That's their little world, but there's like 10,000 of them, and it eventually kind of comes together into a exactly. So, so you, you, you see, I don't disagree with most of what you're saying, but the evidence that I'm talking about is that when it comes to the, even the incremental gradual uh, components coming together, which is what the Darwinian uh, argument is, that sto slow, steady progress led from simplicity to complexity, yeah. that still doesn't undermine that that could be designed. I mean, maybe, yeah, so if you, again, the bottom line is, so I'm, I've, if I'm saying to you, okay, what's the evidence of words, right? You're saying to me design, correct? So, one of them. One of them, okay. yeah, one of them. So, you're, so, my evidence, so I'm, just to clarify, I'm asking, give me a reason why God exists. You, you say, after you finish, yeah, you it's okay if I can. Yeah, sure, it's you okay. say because design, because certain things work in a certain way, right? No, why would you agree that? It's not theoretically impossible that a god could have designed it and then what happens? No, 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 no it's not that. It's not that. So when it comes to God's existence, we don't just use one argument. Of course. We use multiple arguments. So we use like the design argument, contingency argument, consciousness argument, the argument from religious experience, moral argument. We have different arguments. But the point I was making is what you said earlier about evidence. We would say biological world is a signpost to the divine. Whether someone accepts particular evolutionary models or they do not, Design is inescapable. Now, the question really is what I said earlier. Is it the case that the Darwinists are correct that there's an illusion of design? Or is it the case that intelligent design proponents are correct that design means design? And that's the real discussion and debate. Can I, can I give an example? So, so, okay. yeah, sure. so I, th I think the whole argument of design is it's innate. Uh, you are, I, how's it um, so the whole argument of design is innate. So you gave the example of the phone, yeah? We can, we can, I think we can kill two birds with one stone because we talked about, for example, bad design and good design, yeah? If we opened up the iPhone and we saw arguments saying, we saw something that looks very strange to us. Now, logically, we would think to ourselves, What's the, what's the function of that there? It's just sitting there doing nothing. It's not connected to anything. From our point of view, we might even doubt uh, the one who made the phone and be like, hold on a second, that doesn't make sense to me, yeah? But what, the reason we're questioning bad design or good design, still we accept there's design, is because we do not understand the person who's made the phone has put that there for a reason, but because we can't comprehend it, we're going to equate bad design. Would that be fair? Right, okay. Okay, now, just that, that's the bad... The so that's bad such design. a scenario could happen. Yeah, that can happen, yeah? But it doesn't mean it's bad design, it's because we are comprehending, our comprehension is not to the level where the phone designer has done it, yeah? Okay, so coming back to your example, I believe you... Be the, 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 the argument for design of God's existence is very clear. If you saw this phone, if you're walking down the road, yeah? Okay. Have you seen this phone get made? This phone. Does it have design? 
Well, no, no, this phone, no, no. Okay, all right. Do you believe that this phone is designed because you went to the factory and saw it being assembled, or do you believe that it's designed from the mere fact that you can see design? I believe that that phone is designed because, I, for example, in my personal experience, I know people who work in the same industry where they design objects, right? So if I see a phone, I, I'm combining loads of different bits of information in my head where, for example, I see, um, okay, that is plastic, right? Generally, in my life experience, I don't see plastic just in nature, right? Yeah. Then I see that is glass, okay? I generally don't see glass in nature. I also know in my life experience that people design objects, right? Because I've seen it, haven't physically seen it, okay? So these bits of information come together in my brain and I'm saying, okay, probably a designed human-made object because of certain factors I've seen about okay. it. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Think about it. All the things that you mentioned about the glass and the plastic not coming together yeah. and this information that you know some friends that work in a factory. Let's assume you know nothing about that. You don't know about the Apple factory. You just came, you was in a cave, you woke up. You're walking down the desert and you happen to see a phone. Do you believe, what was the first thing that will come to your mind? Would you, because you don't have any information about a factory, somebody creating it, glass, plastic. You see a phone. I, I, I honestly, genuinely, I don't know how to comprehend to start thinking about what I would think of an iPhone no problem, if I had no clue okay. about like, but, factories. So I don't know, I don't know, I can't answer that. But, but, but the thing is, we're not asking about, oh, is that an iPhone? I don't want the information if it's an iPhone or not. Would you say it's designed or not designed? Yeah, I think he's saying that, like, you know, if you're in a scenario where you're literally, like, your mind has been totally wiped yep, of all yep, information, yep, right? Yep, yep. You know, you're in a de yep. you know, desert, yep. you know, and you find, like, okay, you find the phone object, yep. it's, like, clearly weird, it's yep. clearly, you know, looks a bit different than some of the other yep. stuff, yep. but, like, that doesn't mean you can infer it was designed. No, no, one second. How, how so? What's Which is to say, like, let's say that you're walking in the desert and you saw, like, a lizard or whatever, right? Yes. You know, that's clearly quite different than the sand and, you know, the sky, yep. Yep. right? You know, that, you know, would you come to the, you know, I, I can, you know, you can come to the conclusion that's natural or that's designed. What I'm saying is that, like, you wouldn't, uh, you know, you wouldn't have the frame of reference to know whether that's designed or not if you're like totally mind -wise. No, hold on a second. No, no, no I, 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 actually, you use the word frame of reference. If we were to have a frame of reference for everything going back forever, we'd never have any knowledge in the first place. Do, 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 Ad infinitum. Okay, but he said no, without, no, you mentioned without a frame of reference. No, so I, uh, no, no. But you, you said for, for you to judge something as design, you need a frame of reference. You said that, right? Uh, no, you don't. Yeah. Like, no, no, I think yeah. Your, your idea, I think, is that if you suddenly lose all this kind of uh, yes. evidence that we get from sort of science and experience, yes, yes. then and we, that's all wipes and we wake up. We don't actually know the kind of the laws of the universe. And so if we exited that cave and we see a lizard and we see a phone, for all we know, we could be in a kind of universe where both of those things just like spontaneously pop out. So that sort of thing. That, that's just so you only, no, so you only, you only, wait a second, wait a second. You only, you only find out how the sorry, universe do you, works. Do you actually by agree with that? Do you actually? Because that's very uh, interesting, right that, there. That, that's more or less what I'm saying, which is to say, you know, yeah, if you if you totally have no a uh, frame reference of you like you and you, you don't have all the other information which you're getting, you know, yeah, you know, you could live in a universe where the phone is natural and the and the uh, and the lizard is artificial. Okay, but you you. You know, from my, from my perspective, yeah. when someone says what he said, which is that it could have popped into existence spontaneously with the lizard in the phone, as opposed to being designed, it does sound kind of absurd. It's no, but, but that's only in this scenario uh, well, where we it. don't no, no. know Sorry? anything else. Oh, well, people believe it. Right. Yeah, some people do, sadly. Okay, that's, no, no, but, that, but that, that's a slight no, misrepresentation no, no, of what uh, I was but saying. Field uh, mass, uh, which would be uh, spawned or, uh, automatically. No, no, uh, but, 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 no, no, but here what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying my argument is the following. You guys would, by your very innate disposition, would agree that anything you see can be a water bottle, it can be a, it can be a book, it can be a phone. You do not need prior information sure, to sure. claim its design. You don't, because for example, did you go to the Apple factory to see this phone you made? Uh, I didn't. Okay. But, this is from the site. Yeah, but, 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 but it's like, it's like what you said. I've explained why. Yeah. 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 I do need prior information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're no, 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 you don't. You're, you're saying we don't. No, let me tell you why. Tell me why I'm wrong. You do not need... No, you've just example, made a claim. No, I'm making a claim. Don't tell me why I'm wrong. Yeah. Have you gone to the Apple factory to see this phone get made? No. Okay. Do you believe it's designed? Yes. Why? I've explained 
explain to you because I see certain materials in it. Um, yeah, no, but his, no, his no, 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 the no, crucial, no, no, the no, crucial no, no, part of okay, no, like, no, but you, you said basically no, you no, see no, components no, that you know no, no, could no, not no, arise no, by no, themselves no, in nature. No, 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 Why do you? No, no, what I'm saying. So I see my brain sees my brain sees an object, right? And then it uses its past experience, for example, seeing plastic not being in nature, whatever. All these little things, bits of information my brain analyzes. Okay, that from that makes me feel that it's been designed. Okay. Yeah. So, so again, what you're doing is you uh, you haven't gone to the factory, you haven't seen it made, but you've seen that plastic cannot be made in the nature. Yeah. Glass cannot be made in nature. Right. The components that it has cannot be made in the nature. So you came to the conclusion, the rational conclusion, it has to be designed by a human. Yeah. yeah. Like by, a human. by a human. Yeah. So then, when we use the same principle and look at a lizard or look at a giraffe or look at an elephant, yes. Then how could someone who has we have to be consistent. Yeah, yeah, we'll be consistent. Okay, yeah, yeah. so I'm not, I'm not saying you're not by the way. No, 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 of course, of course. Of course. So we we'll have to be consistent and say, hold on a second. If I use my mind, my rationality, my logic to look at a phone and come to an agreement that the plastic and the glass and the components cannot just be made by nature, it requires a human being to, for it to come into form. Make the phone, yeah. Okay, then can we not use the same logic and apply it to the trees and the sun and the no, stars and no. tell me why? No, because you're taking the phone, okay, yeah. and then you're taking a piece of nature, yeah. right, and you're comparing them as if they're yeah. two things, right? Yeah. But actually what the phone is, is the phone is a component of inside the nature, if that makes sense. The animal right? not? The, so what I'm saying is, the phone is, we know that humans exist, right? So, and humans are part of nature. What if, what if you never saw humans? Would you deny that it was designed? No, but hang oh, on, so, let's, so, let's talk about, we, we've seen humans, right? So no, I, don't, no, I can't I, say, I can't say I've never, I can't, I, I can't answer to the thing of like, what if I've never seen an iPhone and my brain has been wiped? I don't know. So, 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 so like, uh, just quickly, yeah? yeah. So like, what, what, what I have to say, we can infer that the phone is designed because it's quite different than natural stuff. Right, and then you're saying, well, dude, how do you? Then can we not do the same thing with natural stuff and say, yeah. well, it's quite different than what? You know, uh, you know, uh, you but know. But isn't that inconsistency? Because what you're saying is the following. What I'm saying is if that you're said, determining it's artificial by comparing it to stuff which is natural. No, no, but you, you just because it's so, natural. So, 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 can I can I ask a question here? Sure. Someone as intelligent as Darwin, and That's even it. and even people before him, right? Sure. And many people yeah. on Earth that have existed in the past, that exist today and will exist in the future, yep. for them this is a quite intuitive conclusion. Why do you think that is? That's my argument. Uh, as in like, it's the, the, uh, uh, what, what's an intuitive argument? Which is that, to say that like they would require no outside stimuli whatsoever to determine yeah, one design no, 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 thing or another. That, that's not what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is when they look at nature, yeah. it's quite intuitive to say, well, it doesn't really make sense that there's nothing behind this. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. Even even if yeah, people change their minds for me, later. For me, I mean, there's loads of stuff Darwin said. I'm pretty sure that was completely ridiculous. Like, yeah, I dude, swear like, he was really into like inbreeding and all this weird stuff. So, no, 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 okay. Okay. So, 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 so I gave his partial view. There was a time in which he was a Christian, there was a time in which he was a deist. When he published The Origin of Species, he actually was a deist, he still believed in God. His reason for becoming an atheist in the last decade of his life was the problem of evil and suffering, right? So I'm not saying he held one view. You can't, you can't really pigeonhole the guy. The guy has quite, yeah, I, I, I sure, agree, yeah, yeah, I like, agree. I but know. the point we're trying to get to is, what's absurd about the views that we're speaking of right now? Yeah. Right. What, what's, for example, the way I articulated the view, the way Ali did, what's absurd about this? Why do you, why do you're you, the one saying why do you, their view is absurd though, aren't no, you? Okay. Why, but why do you look, reject? when it comes to our when it comes to our particular view, we are saying this is a logical argument, right? Okay. So what my question is, what's wrong with this argument? Yeah. Why is it illogical? Okay. Okay. So uh, so like. Uh, well, we say, uh, so, uh, you know, and do, do correct me if I'm wrong, like, my understanding is that the argument is, uh, you know, you're saying that the intuitive part is basically, you know, people can look at a design thing and they'll say, well, they can tell innately that it's designed, you know, they can tell, uh, and, uh, you know, they don't really require any outside reference for that, and so when they look more closely at, at parts of nature, they see that, okay, it has, uh, you know, it has some of the functions and some of the hallmarks of design, and therefore they draw an analogy and can say, yeah. well, you know, this looks designed to yes. me. Yes. Right. And why do I think that's well? Yeah, basically, 
Sure. Uh, uh, your, your intuitions can totally be wrong, first of all. Why? Why? Uh, do you not think intuitions can be wrong? No, no. When it comes to the argument of me seeing this, and I have no prior knowledge of Apple, I have never seen human beings. Yeah, I woke up we, in a... We, we can't, we, we so, can't so, keep yeah, talking so, about the iPhone in that context. Why not? Why not? Because we're not in that context. No, no, let's not about the, the, the ultimate, the, the fact of the matter is that every single person here that looks at the iPhone has that context, right? Why? And, because, because most of these people, they have never gone to a factory, and my yes, argument is, explained. but they okay. believe they, this is designed, not because they believe Apple's factory exists, because they can see design. That's my argument. I'm trying to present here no, that, it, well, yes, yes. Every okay. single person might have a different reason. No, no, no. I'm sure someone here, or someone in the surrounding area, maybe has been to an Apple factory. No, but the, the we point, don't know. No, but the point is this. They believe, if I went to him and they said, I went to the Apple factory and I saw it get made, I'd ask him the same question. If you didn't go to the Apple factory, would you say, you know what, mate? I've never gone to an Apple factory. I've never seen an iPhone. This is not designed. I'll say, you're crazy. My point is the following. Not that you went to the Apple factory or you didn't, because you're still in the same position. If you went to the Apple factory, it's good. You've got more clear understanding how the components were made. Yeah. But this doesn't negate the fact that it's designed. So my question, when I put you guys in the, uh, the yeah, position yeah. where I say you walk up in the cave, you're walking down the road, it can be anything. It can be a bike, it can be a bottle, it can be a watch. When you see it, the fact that it's shaped in that manner, you have to beg the question, why is it that shape and who designed it? Now you tell me why you would not come to that conclusion. That's what I would do. So, sorry, I just want to clarify. So you're asking me, uh, what exactly you're asking me? I'm asking you the following. I'm so sorry. Sometimes okay. I, I, I don't fine. get to the that's point. That's fine, that's fine. We all, imagine, we all woke up in a cave. What's your name? Alexi. Alexi? Yeah. Oh, Max. Yeah? I woke up and I go, Hi, uh, Alexi, what's your name? You're like, Alexi. And I'm like, what's your name? Max. Max. Okay, let's take a little walk, mate. I don't know, we just woke up in this cave. It looks like there's sun outside, yeah? Let's go out. We walk in and then we come across an object. Now, I take this and I go, Alexi, what the hell is this? Yeah? yeah. And I say to you, like, what are those dots? Yeah? Right. What is the first conclusion that we as human beings come to? When we see this, do we say, ah, what is the first conclusion that we come to? Firstly, what's it Even if we've never seen an iPhone. Never seen it. Never, never seen, seen an iPhone. Never. Just like, but never. have we seen a bottle? Never. You haven't okay. seen anything. You just woke up. I just want to say, like, if you live in a, I'm just gonna say, yeah, if you live in a world in which you've never seen any evidence of human artifice at all. At all, right? And you and you come across a, a, a something which uh, to a modern person would obviously be a, a, a you know um, a, you know an a, you know an element of something made by a human being, like an iPhone. Yeah. That person would not know uh, whether uh, it's uh, made yeah. by a human being or not. No, not human being. Was it designed? Designed, yeah. des designed uh, by a human being or not. Same thing. So, yeah, okay, like, what would you... Okay, what no. would you... Okay, uh, sure, sure. Look, you... Wait, look for one second. I'm okay. looking for one thing. I, me personally, I'm asking myself, yeah? I, I would look at that and say... Some, something... Someone or something... Okay, fine. Well, I would look at it and say... I, I, I don't know. No, no, why was it designed? Yeah, no, no, you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe it's, it's not. No, no, no. no. You just said why it was it designed. Oh, well, I'm asking you. As in, I'm asking you. As in, if you, if we were next to each other yeah. and you said, we've just found this phone, we don't know anything. You said it's been designed, and I'd say, for the kind rock. Yeah, you know, what? It's a weird. Uh, it's just a rock. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, no problem. But the point is this: if I said this, I have no reason to think it's designed. You would not think it's designed. No. Why would I? Okay, one second. So let me get this right. You're going to walk and you see a phone. It's okay, this no, let's get this right. First of all, the premise of what you're saying is that we woke up, yes. we don't know anything, okay? So yes, in never that premise... Never seen anything designed by human. Yeah, I've never seen anything designed by human. So yes, in that premise, why would I think that that's designed? I wouldn't. I would just say it's an object, whatever. Okay, so you just say it's an object that's... I probably been... would, in fact, I probably okay. wouldn't think of it as so been designed. So they probably have to take us to the Apple factory. Okay, one second. So you wouldn't think it's designed? No. What's why would I? Why? I don't think you why? think uh, it's designed no, either. No, one second. How could you... Okay, does this have a specific shape? Yeah. Okay, can, 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 can I summarize... Uh, so, Alexi, can I summarize the problem? The, sum the problem seems to be... The atheist is in a dilemma of either they have to infer God or they have to be inconsistent. The, yes. no, no, no. Right? the problem is that the whole argument for the last 10, 15 minutes, whatever, we've been talking about, you've had to create 
um, some weird hypothetical. Not logical. Okay. It's very logical. No, 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 no. But it's a hypothetical where yeah. you're saying if this and yes. if that. Yes. Well, the reality is. Yes. Let's talk about the reality of. Okay. No, an you... iPhone we know has been designed because we see bits of information, right? That iPhone has been designed by humans, so we know, okay, that it's been designed because we see people who make things, yeah. right? But when it comes to you saying the argument of design uh, being as e an evidence of God, yeah. that's where we see no evidence. No, okay, okay, so, so okay. the evidence of can, this... Can, 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 can I summarize what you're saying? What you're saying is for us to be able to know yeah. that this tree was designed by God, yeah. we would have to see God designing yes. trees. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. You don't, so you're, you're not I'll, okay, I'll, you're not I'll, saying I'll, 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 I'll take that, which is to say... Oh, like, you'll, you'll yeah, agree with that. Yeah, yeah, no, basically, which is to say that, like, you know, if we live in the universe where... We, okay. Hey, we're in back, let's, okay, we'll go back to the cave. Sure. You know, I'm in the cave. I've never seen anything designed by a human before. Right? Yes. So you tell, you show me the iPhone. Yes. I would say I have no idea what that is. And you, you're going to tell me it's designed, right? You're going to have to show me and the evidence that it's designed, which is to say you're going to have to take me to the Apple factory. No, okay, 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 good. Okay, good. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, good. Good. Like, one sec one, one like, second. The, the problem here, here is wait, this: wait, wait, the, di the dilemma. Oh, you just interrupted in the conversation. Well, you're the, the, as well. the, the dilemma that you're in at the moment is this. Sure. So if you're saying God has to be, uh, you have to see it uh, in the same way the Apple factory, then most of human knowledge, we have to render it useless. Thank you. Because human knowledge is based upon testimony, not on empiricism. Sure, I get that. Right? So the dilemma, so, so let me lay out the dilemma for the atheist. The dilemma is, you either have to be inconsistent in your epistemology, or you have to infer God's existence. Yeah. Well, everyone has to choose their authorities. Uh, well, where, where's the inconsistency okay, well, sorry, sorry, in the sorry. epistemology? Yeah, I, don't, I was just going to ask, where's the inconsistency? Okay, the, the inconsistency in epistemology is that you want empirical epistemology in your knowledge, in, in, in your in your knowledge about knowledge, in your in your hierarchy. How of do you how, decide what to believe in? Okay. Uh, yeah. So. The fact is, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dilemma I'm pointing out is either you have to infer God's existence or you have to be inconsistent in your epistemology. So where am I inconsistent? So, uh, where well, you aren't, but, but you, you aren't because you... No, no, no. He, he's not right now in this context because he agreed that he wants to see God making it. You said you don't need to see that. So that's why, he, that's why the dilemma is here. And the dilemma is this. Anything that you believe, for example, you believe in the Big Bang model, you believe that's a valid model. I, I right? buy it, yeah. Have you got any empirical evidence for that? I do. I'm believing scientists. So you, but that's testimony. I agree. That's not. That's, that's not correct. Empiricism. You're right. I believe lots of historical facts too. That's also a testimony. testimony. I also, yeah, you know, yeah, that's true. I'm obviously picking authorities. Some of them I'm believing, and some of them I'm not believing. But yeah. You so, so, which so, 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 yeah. To believe in so, based therefore. On how much you know predictive power their predictions correspond to like uh, sure. if someone if someone can say yeah, i have a model of physics yeah. and they can predict this this and this and yeah. all those things come true yeah, so, then you believe so look, what they're saying look, look, so. So firstly, correct, firstly we both like so firstly we both agree on the issues that's happening right now so the problem is about how you define what you believe uh, to be evidence right now evidence should not be only empirical do you agree with that um, no no okay you believe evidence should be empirical only I mean, like, it depends on what you think of as a, which is to say, you have a number of beliefs which are just like necessary for functioning, which you're not going to bother testing on a day-to-day -day basis, right? You know, um, you know, I, you know, I functionally believe like a whole bunch of stuff, right? You know, I'm, um, you know. Uh, which I haven't bothered to test, and I just believe that the guy who told me that that's true is like, uh, you know, that's true. That totally happens, right? You know, um, you know, you know. I don't know how my phone works. You know, and maybe it's fairies. You know, but the scientist who makes the phone says, hey, it's like a bunch of electro waves that do a bunch of cool stuff. I buy it. You know, you know, I haven't tested all that stuff. You know, yeah, you're you're right. I, I do take stuff on authority, but you're saying, uh, you know, back to the, you know, you're, with regards to your analogy, I'm not seeing my inconsistency, which is to say that. Like, like without a, you know, I, I don't have a, 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 you know, I don't have a reference. I don't, I don't have like a, uh, you know, I don't, I don't buy the authority. I don't have an authority which says, you know, well, it's all designed. You know, uh, you know, the, the no, no, I, I, no, no, I'm not making that argument. Sure, sure, sure. What I'm trying to say is that evidence. Yeah. What I'm saying is evidence should not only be empirical. And you said you disagreed with that. Uh, you know, when it comes to like, uh, so. If I have to, you know, if you ask me to like rigorously test something, then yeah, I have to have uh, empirical evidence. But functionally, you know, practically, I don't actually bother with that on a day-to-day -day basis. Why not? Okay, 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 so you agree that evidence should not only be empirical. That's the point I'm trying to make. That's a super important point. Depends on what you're trying to do. Okay, good. So, 
if you are trying to, for example, learn about the existence of Napoleon, say, yeah, right? Sure. You're not going to have any empirical evidence for that. It's going to be testimonial. Yeah. Well, well, empirical no, evidence is empirical evidence, evidence you the, experience. There's, there's empirical evidence for the, uh, uh, for the existence of Napoleon. Yeah. No, there's no empirical evidence. There's no. testimonial evidence. No, but that, that, those are the same thing. No, empirical, they're not. Empirical evidence just means evidence you experience. No, no. Uh, that, sure, that, sure, sure. Are, that, you, are that, you saying that, testimony and empiricism are the same thing? Yeah, if you Google empirical, then it says uh, something you experience. Okay, okay, so, so first, you can measure, firstly, something that you can, which, firstly, you know, firstly, uh, feel. Look, look uh, let's, let's look at it this way. Non-empirical evidence would be like a um, mathematical argument. To, 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 make it, to make a solid argument, you can't just say if you Google it, it, this is the definition. When it comes to testimony, testimony is a source of knowledge independent of empiricism. He's saying it's the same thing, but it's not. So, so uh, where, where are you drawing the line? Which is to say, like, let's say there's like some sort of super smart scientific study about something, right? Which demonstrates X, right? You know, and you've read the study, right? Like, are you you're operating, uh, you know, uh, you know, let's say it's been like 100 percent empirical thing, and some guy's written about it, right? The guy who, right, uh, you know, has read the study and believes it, but wasn't there for the experiment. Like, is he operating only on the basis of testimony, or is he also uh, partaking in some degree in, uh, in empirical evidence? The way you described it, he's believing on testimony. Okay, sure. And most human knowledge, and I'm going to I'm going to state this uh, quite openly. Anyone can challenge it. Sure, sure, sure. Most human knowledge is testimonial. Yeah. Okay. Then. then I, that, okay. In that case, then I. Then yeah. I get what so you the mean. reason why I'm taking it this way is because you earlier said something, which I'm trying to get you to reflect about, which is empirical is not the only type of evidence. So go to make in the tree. You don't need. To, you don't need okay. to see go to make the tree to believe the, 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 the look, what it, when it comes to epistemology, one of the reasons why people turn towards atheism is because they are in an epistemic cage, but they don't realize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we as Muslims are trying to do is when we're speaking about God's existence, we're not just speaking about an argument. We're sure, trying to sure. say your epistemology, if it's going to be inconsistent and constrictive, then let's open it up. Sure, sure, sure. I get, I get what you're saying. Uh, so, like, uh, well, at least I think so. And you, and you correct me if I'm wrong, right? Sure. You know, which is you're saying now, OK, well, you're asking to see uh, the iPhone factory in the cave, and I'm asking to see the, uh, well, I'm asking to see the exactly. iPhone factory in the cave, and I'm asking to see the tree factory on Earth, you know, um, uh, you know and that's because I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm asking, I'm asking for empirical evidence yeah. when for a lot of stuff I ask Thank for you. testimonial. Yeah. What I'm saying is that sometimes you reject testimony. You don't always accept testimony. Yes, and th right? there's, there's, a, there's a whole science of thinking about testimony, and I use science in a non-scientific uh, sense, here, as saying, in a methodology. Let me finish what I'm saying, sure, there, sure. and then you can tell me. Sure. Which is to say that basically, I'm rejecting when you know I'm in the cave with my friend here. Uh, Ali, Ali, was, Ali, Ali, Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and he's saying, "Hey, man, this is definitely designed." I'm rejecting his test, and I'm saying, "I don't know, man. How the hell did you know that?" Uh, you know, I'm rejecting his testimony. I'm saying, you know, uh, I'm not buying it. I'm looking at stuff with my, uh, you know, I, I have some empirical evidence. You know, everyone has some empirical evidence. And you know, I'm saying, you know, uh, this. You you know, you haven't met my bar for like, you know, testimony which I like just incorporate. Yeah. You know, so uh, so yeah. Go. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give you an example, right? Say, for example, you get somebody that runs over from a marble arch and says, "There's a pink rhino going crazy on the underground, going absolutely berserk." Sure. One person is saying this. Yeah. That's a testimony. Yeah. That doesn't mean that that testimony we should accept. Yeah. Right. If five people come who are independent from each other, and somebody Googles it, and they find out it's been reported by the BBC, it's all testimonial. Now we have reasons to start believing it, right? Oh, sorry, go back. I totally so, okay. sorry <laughs> No, no worries. <laughs> so the first time, one person comes and says, there's a pink rhino going crazy on the underground, sure. hitting people. Sure. We don't really have good reasons to believe one person who comes up with something that sounds quite absurd. Yeah. However, if five, six people come independently, from Marble Arch, yeah. and you Google it on your phone, yeah. and BBC is reporting on this, yeah. and more people are talking about it, and now you have start reasons to start believing something, right? I get you. So yeah. we're not making the argument that you just believe anyone's testimony. Yeah. There's a science of testimony. Sure. So the point of bringing up this conversation is that for us to have a meaningful uh, dialogue about God's existence, our epistemology has to be clearly um, clearly defined. Because if the epistemology is what you were saying earlier, that the only type of evidence is empirical evidence, we're not going to get anywhere. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, like, you know, uh, uh, it, 
depends what you mean by yeah, yeah, again, evidence, like, the, like uh, no, 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 so the broad, what you mean. Okay, so the broad, uh, uh, the broad, uh, by the way, look, uh, like, you, you, you two, are, you two, I'm, I'm interacting with you first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to explain why I'm ignoring James, right? Yeah. I love having conversations with whoever comes to the park, yeah, yeah. but James came here with a copy of the Quran to burn it. Since then, I'm not talking to him. So if I'm ignoring him, that's the reason why. And I want to talk uh, to you okay guys. With, uh, I, 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 I want to. I want to have a discussion. I think he is. I want to have a discussion. And yet he thinks that burning a book I, 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 is bad. But I want to have a discussion with you guys. Is good. But because you guys, because we were talking to you guys before he, before he actually came, I want to explain why I'm ignoring him, or else I talk to everybody. Yeah. So, do you agree with this point about epistemology that? Tes testimony is a form of evidence because I'm about to make another argument from this. Uh, yeah, you know, t testimony is a, a, as a kind of evidence, and you can use it to, uh, uh, you know, make good guesses about what's true and what isn't true, depending on the circumstances. Sure. So about testimony, I want to make a different argument, sure. just to, to take the conversation in a different direction. So, what do you think about? The testimony experiences. What do you think about that? Um, well, I'm afraid uh, you know you must have inferred it already from my, my thing. I don't buy it. Okay. Yeah. What, do, what do you think? If you have people from all across the world that have this idea about spirituality sure. and how it impacts their lives and how having a meaningful relationship with God makes them happier and how it's something which gives them this sort of existential backdrop within which to live their lives. What do you think about these types of things? Have you looked into it? I mean, even atheists like Sam Harris are talking about spirituality now. Hey, good luck. You know, I, I get what you're saying, which is to say, like, you know, I could totally buy. You know, we could totally live in the universe, and it's, uh, you know, where you know it's way better to be, a, a, you know, a, total, a religious person. You know, uh, uh, you know, religious belief is very helpful. Does all sorts of stuff. You know, you notice stuff like, uh, you know, if you go and look at Latin America, you know, you know, if you the more religious people, the guys who go to church more, they do less crimes. You know, there's all sorts of good stuff that you can say about religion. You know. Um, and they can say a bunch of other stuff, right, too. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that, you know, every, uh, you know, every uh, jot and tittle of their, their story, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, is 100%. Right. I agree with that. I, I, you see, the argument I'm making is not that, exactly like you said, because people have religious experiences, we can believe whatever books they believe in or whatever ideas they have. I'm not saying that. Yeah. What I'm saying is, if we have a sociological, cross-cultural, almost universal consensus that spirituality is something that whether you're an atheist, you're a Hindu, you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, people are speaking about, then there must be some reality to this but the world thing of spirituality. Is the definition of spirituality is so subjective and so broad. For example, you could say, like an atheist could say they feel spiritual by like sitting in a field. What does spiritual mean? I mean, does spiritual just mean you feel calm and your mind is running clear, or does spiritual mean God has touched you? Know? What does that mean? See, it's now, so broad. See, see, now this is the point I totally agree with you. So, Someone can have a discussion about spirituality, and like you said, yeah. say, for me, spirituality is when I go for a run and I exhaust myself and I look up at the stars, right? Somebody else says it's about God. Now the question is, what is spirituality? So I'm going to give you my perspective and you, you can share your perspective. What I wanted to establish first is there is a reality of spirituality that we're all trying to understand. No, wait, wait, wait. If you're saying it's all very broad, it's, it's difficult because, it, this is the thing, it's not such a specific definition that I think you can then say it's so broad across the world in the sense of, like, um, you know, it's such a broad thing that maybe it's not that broad across the world. You know? Okay, yeah, maybe it's you know not. I mean? Maybe it's not. I'm not saying I agree with the idea that spirituality is exhausting yourself and looking at the stars, which I have heard before, by the way. The point I was making is, we both, we, we should first look at, okay, there is a reality of spirituality. Now let's have a discussion what, what, uh, what my view is and what your view okay, is. Yeah, yeah. Well, allow me my like, quibble quickly then. Sure, sure, sure. Which is that, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to, uh, you know, like spirituality and uh, things like religion and, and uh, religious experiences, you know, uh, they definitely have an effect on earth and the uh, reality that, that there is. So yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, grant you yeah. that. Same too with black magic and witches, you know. Um, but they, as Muslims, we do believe magic exists. Sure, that's fine, dude. But, you know, hey man, that's not everyone, you know. Uh, uh, well, actually... And I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure there are things which you don't believe exist, yeah. you know, which have an effect on earth. 
which we don't believe exists but have an effect. Which which I, what I mean is that like some guy has a subjective experience of something, right? So let's say that like you actually have like uh, you know, so um, you know Christians do stuff. Uh, you know, you're not a Christian, or you can have some sort of uh, a animist in uh, you know deep uh, Central Africa, right? And uh, you know. Um, They'll have some sort of religious experience, something they believe is a religious experience, and they'll go off and do stuff because of it, right? Yeah. That, you believe that that religious experience is not a real religious experience, it's not actually from God, but it's had an actual effect on the earth. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the way the, 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 the way the way that we say the way that we would explain it is, if a Christian comes up to me and says that they had a spiritual experience, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with the metaphysical experience they had. I would disagree with the inferences that they made. For example, sure. there's a belief that we hold as Muslims, which is actually quite cross-cultural, which is about <coughs> people having dreams about the future. Okay, you okay. get this in every society. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, if a Christian or a Jew or an atheist comes up to me and says. I saw this dream and exactly that happened a year later as it was told to me in the dream I'm not going to outright reject that what I would outright reject is their possible interpretation of that where they would say it's due to the devil or whatever but you must um, say that Certainly you believe that there's a possibility that they actually didn't have like a religious experience that was actually inspired by anything divine. That's a possible to. It's and possible to. It's possible yeah. and, there, and it may have happened. Uh, I can't have, uh, you see, this is, this is why I want to describe what my view is on spirituality as a Muslim. And from there we can look at alternative views because I believe this is an area, like you mentioned, we can't have this type of, okay, my view, I can objectively prove to you is correct. What I can do is say, here's my view, think about it. Sure, sure, uh, I, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> so, I just wanna... It's not, it's about spirituality. <coughs> But, uh, yeah, so, but, uh, but you, so just to be clear, so shall like, I explain what my view is? I'll go for it. Okay. The view that we hold as Muslims is this. We're made up of this physical body. And for this physical body, you need water, you need food, you need these things. Physical things from the ground can sustain you. But we also have a soul. And the soul is fulfilled with the remembrance of God. Now, the spiritual experiences that we have with God, they give us certainty. And that certainty is not something that you can put in a test tube or you can actually empirically verify, but for you it is objective, although for others it may be subjective, right? So as Muslims, uh, in the Quran it says, truly in the remembrance of God do hearts find peace. So what I would say to somebody is, I wouldn't say this is a logical empirical argument and you need to accept it. What I would say is, you should try Islamic spirituality. You should look into the truthfulness of Islam. And it is something that I know people myself who they weren't, convinced about Islam until they spiritually tried it out and that was for them the ultimate proof. Sure, I can, I can buy that, which is to say that, you know, yeah, dude, I mean, like, you know, I imagine there's a lot of people, including a lot of atheists, who, you know, if they grabbed a, a you know, uh, uh, they adopted their religion, they'd be way better off, right? Totally plausible, right? You know, uh, tons of religions have totally great results for their, their, their uh, convertees and their, their, uh, and their devotees, but, you know, like uh, that, 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 isn't, that isn't an argument, which is to say that like I didn't say it's an argument. I totally, I totally get you. I'll just, I'll just. Uh, I know you didn't say it, but I will say that. Oh, it okay, <laughs> that isn't an argument. That is true. I would say it's, it's kind of like a, a sales pitch. But it's kind of means, like. But that all, all you're doing is basically, essentially, if you're breaking something down to the bare bones, is you're essentially saying uh, you're selling the idea that holding a certain belief structure, right? Essentially, breaking down what you're saying, holding a certain belief structure generally helps people, right? I, I'm not saying that. Oh, so you're not saying. No. So what, 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 what I was, okay. what, I was sorry, what I was saying, saying. Okay. what I was saying is something I do try and say in the park is, look, when it comes to say God's existence, right? We have say the design argument, cosmological argument, contingency argument, consciousness argument, moral argument, so on and so forth. Then we have arguments why we believe the Quran to be true. Mm -hmm. But something which isn't really discussed much at Speaker's Corner is apart from the intellectual arguments from God, is the spiritual experience with God. And that is something quite significant. And it's not an argument. I'm not making it up. So broad, like we said, like, unfortunately, so many people are put it like quite full of shit in the sense that, like, 
sense that if they may not have much going on in their life, then uh, their brain will look for something to then, yeah. they yeah, will yeah, say, yeah. I've had yeah. a spiritual experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have significance now, you know? It's a great way for someone to psychologically kind of reset themselves and say, oh, I found this thing, I've had this experience, you know? And, and like, dude, I mean, it could literally be, maybe they, some, yeah, but so, uh, look, look, I, I agree. I agree. look, I, 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 hundred, I hundred percent agree with you. But why would no, 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 but what I would say is, let's not throw out the baby with the bathwater. Yeah. Okay. So let's not. Yes, you do, you do have situations like that. But that doesn't mean that we just give up and we don't even try and look at what the reality is. Okay. okay it's, it's, it's like a scientist. Yeah? yeah. So a scientist is trying to work out why a particular phenomena takes place. There are many different interpretations. A scientist is not going to turn around and say, too much, too much complexity, there's too many interpretations, I give up. They'll be like, okay, let's try and figure out what's going on and let's work out the best explanation. And that's all I'm saying here as well. Yeah. And, the, and going back, I mean, Ali wanted yeah. to take it back to the design argument, but you know, I, I want to make I that point. We, we accept it that sometimes we, we don't need empirical evidence to uh, come to an understanding that uh, something may be designed or not designed. But we use testimony in general. So coming back to the argument of you wanting to see God make the tree, now we can come to a conclusion that just because you can't, you didn't, you didn't, or you will never see God making the tree, doesn't mean it goes back to the argument of design that it is not designed. Do we accept that now? Because you so, said so we accepted that right at the beginning, which okay. is to say we already accepted okay. that. Like there are a million so, scenarios in which exactly. you could have a, you so, know, so you could ima case, you could imagine it. It's not like impossible. Okay, so if that's the case, then no how can we? How can we then? Then I still believe the atheist position is inconsistent because we're looking at other material objects. And those things that you wear, you use your logic on a day-to-day -day basis. You wake up, you go to the fridge, and you see your shoe there. You're not going to be like, no, you're going to come to the conclusion of, why is my shoe in the fridge? Yeah? You use your logic throughout your life. Why is it that when it comes to that there is a high probability, not probability, there's a certainty that God exists, the logic is as if atheists just come say, oh, let me take out my uh, why, why, skeptic. Why, why would I why, suddenly why believe that? that? So someone's so why do you believe that in, in my life experience, life? someone has come to me, okay? I see certain things where I see the world, right? Someone has come to me and said, this is God, God exists, yeah. okay? Yeah. Okay, well, all right, you've said that to me, you've said to me God no, exists. No, prove it, not say, say he's no, this the thing is, you said, okay, well, God exists because this tree works really nicely. That's essentially. No, 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 no. Saying, I've, right? I've said you look at things that are material objects mm -hmm. and you see them working really nicely, yes. and you equate that to a human being must have, that has created it. But when you look at the nature, well, no, actually, if you compare the uh, complexity of say that tree to your iPhone, that iPhone is like a blip. It's nothing compared to the complexity of that tree. And that is my so argument. Actually, so actually, 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 no, the tree is way more complex. That's what I'm that's saying. What you said, that's yeah, what you're, you're saying. saying. Sorry, the tree is no. way more complex. Yeah. Like a com the, the most powerful supercomputer couldn't simulate like a world. DNA, yeah. you know. DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, one, one little exactly. Part of DNA. So, so, so that's why I see that. I, I see the iPhone as way more primitive as an object. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I can see that comprehend that somebody would have designed it, right? Um, so that's, that's why that's why I categorize those things separately, right? But that's my argument. <laughs> what you just said now, it's, yeah. it's my, my point is this here. And by the way, I want to make something clear because I know when yeah. speakers growing up, egos could get in the way. Sorry, ego. I want yeah, that's fine. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm not fine. here to win a point over you. I'm not here to make you look like a fool. All yeah. I'm doing is I'm just trying to make an argument. I know, and yeah, that's yeah, what I, I just want to make that clear because you're off the park, it's like, oh, I scored a point. I'm not here to I'm not here to do that. I'm genuinely, because I believe that there is a creator and I, and I would like to invite everybody to that. And as much as you believe there isn't and you would yeah. want to convince me. So when you said the tree is much more complex than a phone, yeah. a DNA <laughs> is millions and billions times more complex than a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it that we look at a phone and we equate it to design, even if we, like I said before, the cave incident, or not cave incident, we go to the factory, we never saw the factory. We still come to the conclusion that it's designed. Why is it that we don't do the same with the tree and the DNA? Well, because the, the, way that the, the way that the tree works and the way that the tree looks is completely different to how the iPhone well, how does works. That negate, how does that negate design? Well, because we see uh, things that are man-made that are consist. There are certain consistencies in them, in that they work 
actually very differently to things that we see in what we d would define as nature, right? So yeah. I don't think there's a single man-made object that works very similarly but in the same it doesn't way need to, so. but the point is this. The tree might be more complex in its structure and the way it works, yeah. but the point is if you're looking at a phone and the phone is primitive and the way it works is not as complex as that, yeah. you accept that as a design, but, but it's tree... not just that. There's so many different factors where my brain okay, looks so at something and makes. So, like I said before, again, the, ar the argument of what my brain sees the phone is made of, then you can see that the way that the phone operates, uh, all of these different things come together, uh, which make me conclude that it's been designed. <laughs> not to mention the knowledge of, you know, knowing that that's a thing that happens that people do. Right? Why don't so, you apply that with the, 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 the nature, though? I don't understand. Sorry? Why don't you apply that when you see a lizard or a tree or the sun or the stars or the earth? Why don't you, like, I'm, I'm saying, why is there inconsistency where it's with, with the phone and the bottle and the, the, the scarf and, you know, this, it's got... Well, the, because I know, uh, from, from my knowledge, I know that the phone has been specifically made to make phone calls, for example. No, right? no problem. I know what's that the, the phone is for? <laughs> Well, this is the thing. I, I have no information that concludes to me that the that the tree was made for a specific thing. The tree no, just it? exists. No, no, All I, I see, I see that the tree exists, okay? So, I could guess or try and make an idea in my head as to why it exists, which is probably, in my opinion, how religion comes about, yeah. comes about where people are trying to understand and explain why these things are amongst us, right? Okay, but so for me, I think it's very bare bones, okay? So I see the tree, okay? Have I got any information that it's been designed? No, I haven't. I simply have no information that it's been designed. I see that it works well, but the iPhone works well, but I have that's not the reason that I think it's designed. I think it's designed because of it has writing on it, for example. So I, what, what writing? It, well, the iPhone has a logo on it, for example, right? Okay, but what about DNA? Okay. No, 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 but that's the thing, is I see certain man-made elements, so I'm like, okay, this looks man-made. No, no, so because it says made by made in China, designed by Apple, is that, is that what... Well, yeah, it's writing, so it's like okay, language. But, but, but we came to the conclusion right? that, for example, empirically, that it's like saying as good as God writing down, made by God. I don't necessarily need someone to tell me made by God, because I use my logic, yeah. which I use on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm walking out and I no, see... No, but I mean, if, if, if a tree had some writing on it, which only God could write, no, why? which why? said made by God, then I'd probably believe no, no, in God. Would you, would you not, no, when that happens, would you need to say maybe somebody went and put that in the tree? No, 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 no. But in, uh, that's what I'm saying, is if I knew for a fact nobody could have written that, if it's in... The point is, when I read language, yeah. okay, I see that it's been, that it's not natural, because the only... Do you mean like a book? Well, like a book, for example, you can see, I know for a, in, in my experience, that only humans write. Okay, okay, what about DNA? Because DNA is information. Okay. Okay, this is it's information that you right. might not understand, but it works like it codes, yeah? Right. So, like the algorithm, you can say. Well, I, I, I don't know the interviews, how DNA works. No, okay, no problem, but DNA is information, do we accept that? Okay. But it's a molecule. So it's what? A code that so what's that mean? I mean, I know, oh, let me use a word. Is, it's a mango. Is it, is it information? No, but, but is what's it going to do anything? The, the question is, is DNA information or is it information? Or are we calling it information because that's how we comprehend how no, it No, 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 because what we see is when you look at it, the DNA is like a factory. It's a building blocks and we are all made of DNA. We are all made of DNA. So the argument is the following. If you're looking for information and a signature, the DNA <laughs> is more complex uh, than anything, any kind of literature, all the books in the world, yeah, 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 everything yeah, yeah, yeah. together. Now, the question that needs to be asked is yeah. you have a cell which is composed of DNA yes. and it's a factory. It's a literature of the way how you look, how I look, how Sabo looks. It is our DNA. So the question is this. That is information. Like you said, the book has information. You give it an author or someone that designed it. What about DNA? No, but that's the thing is, I haven't seen... Any, there's, when I... Okay, first, if I look at a piece of DNA, if I could, or if I look at a cell, okay, for a microscope or like a leaf, okay, I don't... There's nothing in that. When my eyes see that, my brain takes in all the information that comes with that. For me, there's no information there which so, okay. indicates that somebody... Sure, sure. Okay, 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 so, okay, so, it doesn't so, so, have, for example... So, 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 uh, so can, can just quickly finish, right? So, it doesn't have... For example, clear visible man made materials like plastic. No, no, why man made? It doesn't have. No, no, but this is not man made. That's the point. It's not man made. Look, you're saying if it's yeah. man made, I can deduce and say, you know what? Sure, yeah, example, it's sure, sure. It's but, 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 so, but, Ali, Ali, can I make it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm so sorry. Yeah. But when it's immaterial, yeah, and it's, it's not plastic, it's not glass, and it's still functioning, doesn't that, this is what I'm saying, it's inconsistent because then what you're doing is you're looking at the DNA and thinking, there's no plastic. Why does it have to be plastic? Doesn't it show you that it works with no plastic, no kind of energy, but it's forming things? Doesn't that give you a basic, logical, rational understanding? Now, hold on a second. 
Who made this? No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that somebody. Can, 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 can I just share a little story? So, on BBC Question Time, there was this guy. Uh, you, you, this famous clip uh, online. This guy who you was a, mi a militant atheist, right? Okay. And he was on the show. They were having a discussion about religion and this type of thing. And he actually gave the exact example that you gave. That he was studying the cell. And before that, he used to be a militant atheist. And the more he started looking at the cell, and he was somebody that was studying evolutionary biology at university, right. he looked at that and then he said, do you know what, I just don't think this could be by chance. So he did a process of elimination and he inferred from that design. Now, what I see uh, in, in, in the way that you're thinking is, you're thinking that's not enough, that his conclusion was wrong. You're saying there needs to be other markers which are there to point to God Apart design, from yeah, apart from design, design. okay. Yeah, yeah. So just about, because something works in my in my brain, just because something works well doesn't mean it's been okay. Designed. So 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 Ali so, Ali 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 one second. One second. Uh, it's something so, that so, I observe. So and I'm not. The thing is, uh, from my position, I'm not claiming to. If I see something, to then have the answer, okay. I see. What do you call it? What do you call it? So, so, so just before uh, that, an object. Uh, an object. Uh, something that would come about through unnatural. Yeah, so, so, I mean unconscious processes. The unconscious processes. Yeah, like there's a dichotomy, right? So unconscious, but unconscious design. Like. Not surely anything is either designed so, or it has so come look, about from the, 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 po the point I'm trying like to make is forces of nature, like a snowflake. The, re the reason why the reason why you're anyone. the reason why that person's inference you would say is incomplete because you're looking for some other markers. Now, what I want you to do is, can you just specify what those markers are? Firstly, yeah. two, can you specify why? He okay, so like I said, the, the markers that I'm looking for is. Um, so with the iPhone, the markers that I look for is things that I know uh, are man-made, right? So uh, like the plastic, whatever, right? So there are certain things in my life experience um, that I can see that humans make things and they have certain characteristics, right? So when I look at the cell, okay, I don't see... And, and that whole thing is based on having seen humans make things. Okay, right? so, I have, I, yeah, yeah. So, so I have I have a good um, uh, uh, example for you. Within the cell, we have rotors, we have valves, we have very similar mechanics to the sort of uh, th the sort of interior in any sort of. Uh, right, but that's uh, a lot of the time. A lot of the time, design, human-made design, right? So, for example, planes, whatever, is inspired by they, nature. They are inspired by nature, right? Yeah. So, so, so um, you see that something works, okay? And you're like, oh, that works. You know, a wing creates lift, but birds have this inner. You know, you try that, and then it works. So then you do it, and then it's become a, a man-made object. So right. we learned so it from nature. Time, sure. Time, but but, but okay. So now, now we're getting to a good point. Yeah. You are absolutely correct. There are times where we take um, inspiration from nature. For example, a good a good example is uh, one of the Boeing planes. I think it's the A380. It had a very large wingspan, and it had a per problem with turbulence as it was landing. So based upon the design of the Eagle it actually had these flaps to try and break the turbulence, right? So you're right. However, there are also times where human beings have come up with design independently and then they found out that that design also existed in nature. So sometimes it's the opposite. I'm really interested in that. What is that? So, for example, example. There, there's certain things in nanotechnology which we've designed and those things, when we look into the human cell, we actually find out that components pretty similar to what we've designed independently exist in nature. But, sorry to ask you for you to be so specific, but could you expand on that more? Because is that like the logic works the same way, or is that like the physical elements that are there are the same? Because it's quite different. Like, um, that it's quite often that if you're trying to solve a problem, that you'll come to uh, quite a logical conclusion. Um, you know, maybe the logic would work in a similar way. It's, it's, okay, so, know, so, like so we need a more. So, so I'll, I'll, the eagle one in the plane that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, We've yeah seen sure, sure. The eagle, we're like, oh, okay, we can sure. find this. Sure, I, I, I'll give you an example, right? So I don't know the name of this uh, this particular element, but there's actually something which has two legs, and it actually uh, carries cargo, right? And that's something that we've discovered is actually within the human cell. And uh, you, you can actually find, uh, if, if you an put in, uh, uh, yeah, there's animation videos on this, so obviously we can't see it directly. Now, if you look at human transportation, 
we've come up with things pretty similar to that, independent of us actually looking into the human so, cell. So there's a thing in your cells that has two legs. Yourself. Yeah, it, it, it's right. like this. It looks like a, the animation looks like a robot, and it's carrying cargo, and it delivers cargo, and it comes back. Now that particular thing was not observed, and then humans came up with something similar. In fact, humans came up with similar designs before they looked at the but that's all. But also, you're seeing that you're saying through. Was it an animation? Like someone has recreated the logic of how that works? Not the logic of how it works. No, how the, it looks. The how, 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 how it looks. Like the animation. The, the problem yeah. is that the animator, obviously, in order for you to understand the representation of how it works, yeah. the animator has animated. Yeah, right? but it's for something. And, oh, and, oh. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like the, that video you've seen, the, the, the animation you've seen, has gone through someone whose job is visually to animate something. No, okay, like, okay, so, so okay, let. let you know, I, I see what I mean. No, I see what you're saying. So however, like, however, what if? The animator's representation is an accurate representation okay. of the. But this is, no, no. You but do you see what you're doing? No, no, no. But what's it? You're inconsistent. You know what you're doing here? And I'm so sorry. Because yeah. what you're doing here is you are trying your absolute best. Look, we're talking about we've got the logical answer there, and all you're doing is you're saying, but what if the animator got it wrong? What if that's not? I'm no, no, no. He's saying, what if the animator got it wrong? What's your name? Ale Alexia. Yeah. Alexia. Yeah. Alexia. Yeah. I see that as inconsistent. I see that as okay, not understanding. Okay, no, carry on. Because. It's like you go about your day-to-day -day life, you use rational, logical, even when you're crossing the road. And right. But when it comes to the existence of God, you've asked, you've asked so many clauses in there, I have to see it written down. Well, you have, that's what you've done. Talk about this. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Show it. <laughs> Is that what you've done now? Is that we talk about the DNA, yeah? Which, and, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna stick to this. You know why? Because you have to answer if you wish to. Yeah. You have to answer because you talked about the book, information. If there's information, there's an author. Oops, sorry, I've talked about the DNA. I haven't no, seen right anything now, logical or rational to rebuke the argument. So no. our DNA is information, right. and if information, and there's building blocks, there's RNA, RNA, and there's other elements in there that work like a factory. Can you tell that me? Information is how we interpret how that's no, how, that's no problem. Is it still information? No, he's like, when, about you, when you have a computer, okay, so can we watch it after this? Okay, yeah. So the thing is, we have computer. There, the zeros and ones. Yeah? Yes. We don't know how that works. I don't know what the hell zero and ones are. But all I know, it helps my computer to function. Yeah. So I'm asking a simple question: the DNA, if it has these functions in place, that gives you a lot of things are made in the, uh, in, in the uh, you, me, you are the DNA blocks. What is your basic logical conclusion? What, where that came from? Wait, sorry, say that again. What is my What basic? is your logical, rational understanding of what could have given rise to this DNA to work in that way? So you're asking me what is my understanding of how I think um, what the, the reason for DNA working is. No, but this is the thing is, I, I'm not the one who's saying that I have an answer to how that DNA works. Why not? It's the, the people who are saying God is the designer. Forget, forget God for a second. No, 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 no but that's the thing. That's the thing is if somebody said to you, how does um, this piece of DNA work, right? My no, how does it work? Why does it work like that? Why does it work like that? But what, what does that mean? Why it's very it simple, like for that? example. Why, do I have to why, did the, why did the author write this book? Aira, for example. Yeah, one reason. Aira, you can check it out. Why did this person write this book? I don't know. But what I do know, it was written by someone and there's information. So I'm not asking you why the DNA works like that. I'm asking you what the way it's designed, where, what's your basic conclusion? What, 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 give me an answer. So you're asking me, I just want to clarify to make sure that I'm answering this. So you're answering me, you're asking me why has why is DNA work like No, no, why, why? I'm asking you, for example, you gave an example of a book. If there's information, it requires an author. Is that correct? Intelligence. Like there's there's information if there's information, there has to be intelligence. DNA has, has information. No, 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 but this is the thing, is that, is that we can't compare the information that is writing, okay, yeah. which is a, wor a way that humans use to communicate, right? That's information, like, um, and then suddenly compare it to DNA and say DNA that it's... Why, why, why not? Why not? Like, one second. No, not actual why, why? letters. No, 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 not actual letters. But what I'm saying is, okay. One, what I'm saying is, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is which is which is more advanced information, this book or the DNA? The DNA. Okay. Does this book have an intelligent designer behind it? No. This book. No. Yes, this book. Yeah. Okay. This book. Okay. okay. Any book. Any book. Does the DNA have intelligent design? I don't know. No. Okay. Okay. Let me get this right. The book has information. Yes. It has an author. Yes. It's intelligent. Yes. And the reason, the reason, no, the reason that I make, I 
um, agree that it has in it designer is because there's certain things in that book that I can see no that indicate to no me problem. that a human okay, has so made so it. Okay, so, 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 so
the, the leaf does photosynthesis because this we, we try and find the reason. Okay, right? so, so but look, in my belief, there it's it's much more above that in the sense that there are no reasons, but we just can't comprehend that. Why we are no looking. Reason? Okay, okay. So, so look, look, in a way, in a way, what you're saying is we have a pattern detection system which yes. is in overdrive. That's what yeah. you're basically saying. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Now. My argument to that is, I don't disagree with the fact that it's possible that human beings could be falling prey to a pattern detection system which is in the overdrive and looking for design where there's no design. Yes. However, in this case, it's the opposite. We're not starting off by looking at something and having an overdrive in terms of our pattern detection system. We're starting off with what we can both see are independent yes. devices. One biological, one a human artifact. And yes. we're looking at both of them and with the human artifact, we're seeing functionality, we're seeing uh, complex, intricate parts working together. The same with the one in nature. Here the inference is design. Here the inference, according to you, is not design. No, we're trying to figure out why no, not. No, we're, applying, we're applying our logic of storing information to the DNA. Yes, we are. Yeah. So, so we, we are applying our logic of looking for how things work and how we explain how things work. And then we apply that to the DNA. Yes, but we don't that have by the way, for us to communicate. But, but, sure, sure. Yes. But you do realize that apart from using what we can use in terms of our experiences, that is the way that actually science works. That is the way that actually we function as human beings. We have no alternative to that. Okay, but th this is the thing is, is uh, where I most disagree with the idea of, okay, well, God did it. Um, we're not saying, we're, you see, we're not saying God did it. All we're saying is, what, no, what we're seeing is, we're not, I'm not saying you have to, what I'm seeing is, why are you so... Not afraid, but you just do not anything but a designer. It's like anything that like we've talked about DNA, we've talked about we talked about phone, but the results are different. We're talking about I want to say similar thing, but how we come to the conclusions of why one material object is designed, and we apply that to something more complex in design, and the conclusions we arrive because, at because totally this, different. Yeah, yeah, because on on this object, for example, or any man-made object, it's not just the fact that the object works that makes me think it's designed. It's other facts. Now, what are the factors? Well, as I said, the fact that I know that this was made by a human because it's got writing on it, it's got uh, man-made uh, plastic. So, so as well as this object working as a bottle, yeah. right? It's not the thing that makes me think that it's designed. The thing that of makes me think that it's no, 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 yes, yes. When I, I analyze it, there is no way. Look, look, I bet you any money that you believe you would believe this is designed if you never saw any. We cannot human being say on that planet. because we yes, aren't you can. in that situation. We can because okay, have you gone to the factory to see this get made? But we've we've gone through no, that. No, have you? No, no, no. Have you seen a video? No. Okay. Why do you believe this is designed? Well, because because uh, I can give you a very clear explanation. For example, it has writing on it, right? Okay, what does that mean? Well, let me explain. Okay. So, humans talk language, right? So, I see writing, I can read that writing, it's the same writing that I would write a message with to my friends or whatever. So, I'm like, okay, there's a piece of information that tells me that it's made by a human, okay? It's made, it, then I see plastic, right? In my life experience, I've never come across plastic in nature in the form that it is here. And I also know a personal experience that plastic is manufactured, okay? So, and, and, and then loads Maybe of other the bits shape? of information. The shape the shape, maybe? Well, no, the, the shape comes along with the plastic, for example, how they mold the, the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay. How they mold the bottle to make it manufacturable and whatnot. Okay. So all these things come together in my brain, which makes me think that it's man-made, which makes me think that it's designed. Thank you. So this is what you said. You said, even if you never saw any mankind, you said, I would look at the information. So we're talking with the absence of a human being, a factory. You want to Automatically did what? You went to observe yes. the, the item, not where it came from. You said, okay, first thing I'll do is observe the item. Okay, a ball, plastic, molded, information, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which okay, means that it's I'm, human. Okay, I'm yeah. doing exactly the same thing with the DNA. I'm, I'm looking at it. I know I don't. I can't see God or the designer. I'm looking at the product that I have, which is the DNA, okay. information, pattern, so, so molding, something... functionality, and I'm seeing design. Okay, but enough. define information. But define, so when you say I see information in DNA, define information. Okay, so what do you mean by that? As in, it, uh, 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 this is information, right? Because we, it is information. we've written this down. No, no, you understand. This information yeah, because yeah, yeah. you speak English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But, but example, define information in the DNA. Do you speak, uh, 
something. Oh, the same thing in the DNA. The DNA has information. It has functionality. You don't understand it, but yeah. just because you understand it does not mean that there is no information or functionality or, and therefore it's a design art. Yes, but what makes you think that it's designed other than its functionality? Because you just did the same thing with the ball. No, you no, 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 no because it's nothing, because my reasons for this bottle being designed is nothing to do. What's the function of this bottle? Why did you? Hang on a second. What's the function why of did the you, bottle? To drink water. To drink water. So the function of the bottle yeah. is to store water, yes. correct? Okay. Did, were any of my reasons for saying that this was designed to have anything to do with the function of it? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay. So therefore, in my logic, so, so the logic of that I'm using to decide whether something's been designed is independent of its function. No problem. DNA. Okay. So, 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 that's why. Let me explain why I'm not being inconsistent. You've said the DNA has a function, right? Let's it, suppose it, it stores function. the information. It's got function. No, right? I would, I would, call, I would deduce a designer if it had no function. So, so you have no function. No, you think everything has I, a design. No, I, I, let's suppose it had so. no function. Okay. I would look at, for example, the way it's, for example, it has certain information. Yeah? There's certain things happening which are causing certain effects to happen. So the way your nose looks like that, the way my nose looks yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah? Yeah. So I would say, I don't need to know the function. What I know is that the information there has causes and effects. So I'm doing the same thing. But yeah, you're, but you're this, this, this function of this bottle has causes and effects as well. Whatever. The function is it's an argument. It's an argument. No, no, no. But you're saying that my inconsistencies are, yes. is that I see something, yes. okay, I say that it's uh, uh, designed, but then when I see nature, I say it's not designed. I'm explaining to you why it's not inconsistent. I'm explaining to you that the reason I say this is designed is, isn't to do with its function, it's to do with certain factors which clearly tell me that it's Yeah, you're design. observing the item. And not observing yeah, yeah, the and, item. and the information what, what? that I'm observing... No problem, but I'm doing the same thing. Because because there's no human in the picture, we're yeah. observing the item. I'm observing the DNA in nature. I'm observing it and I'm coming to a logical, rational conclusion. There has to be a designer. You're doing the same thing why? with the why? 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 why do you do human being? Why human being? Why human being? Why human being? Why is this design? Yes, why human being? Well, I've explained to you. Yeah, yeah, so like this guy, Alexei is like looking at the thing and he's comparing it, he's comparing it to other stuff he's seen uh, and other things which are in the world. Right? When you're looking at DNA, you know, the only thing you compare DNA to is other natural stuff. Well, well, that's the point, because what you're doing again, it goes back to your argument. Can I have one conversation at a time, please? I'm so sorry. Well, the point is this. Just because you can't see God, you are denying it. And I'm saying that doesn't add up, because you're conscious. Can you see your conscious? Am I conscious? No, can I see, can you see your consciousness? No, 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 I don't. No, no, but that's what you're doing. No, 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 you're I saying, say I need to see evidence. No, no. It's it's different, right? If you never saw human beings, you would deduce this to do a human being. You say letters, information, molded. No, but it's when sorry, it comes you're saying to your, if I've never seen human Yes, that's what was my premise. I said if you saw no human being... And, and then I wouldn't know it. language, so I wouldn't be able to see that this is language. Okay, but we've we've, this. We've, got, the, 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 we, we've been over this in the sense that, for, you know, I would see a pattern of different lines, okay? So if say I, that again, say that you've seen what? If I've never seen humans before, yes, right, yes, we can yeah. agree that I wouldn't be able to read. You wouldn't read, okay. So that's why this would mean nothing to me. Yes, no, 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 it would be nothing to you based on information. No, is in is in in terms of that, you can't uh, read it. If, if no, I had, no, yeah, well, not, yeah, not only that, like, not only would he not be able to like read it in the sense of understand it, he wouldn't even recognize these scribbles as a language. No, no problem. Yeah. But the point is this: Would you not look at that W and be like, why, why not some other shape? Would you not look at the board and be like, why rigid here? Why a blue cup there? Why? He could do it all day and still not come no, in. No, yeah, no, okay, no. Like I could, you know, maybe you could look at this and you think it has totally different. What would you do? Oh, look, look, you're not human beings. You saw the ball. Right. You, you're having a moment with the ball now, yeah? What's coming to your mind? You ask whether it could have come about through natural processes or not. You know, you know, it's, it's completely. If I have no prior information. No prior information. You're with the ball and you're in a cave. It's silent. And you're looking at it. Tell me what comes to your mind. I mean, firstly, that it's completely hypothetical. Hypothetical, so. okay. Hypothetical, so. Okay, so you're asking me hypothetically if I saw this bottle, what would come to mind? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I don't know how to answer it. I don't know. So would you be like, 
Okay, so I look I don't at the know. bottle. I, I don't know. A, would, you, would you be seeing? I don't I see know. An, I see an object, okay? And I, maybe I start thinking what I could use it for if I wanted to use it. Oh, you give it a purpose? Well, as in a human would, all, I'm sure, uh, just a, a survival instinct, you would try and find purpose in something. Okay, and, and okay. So, so maybe you would see it and you'd look at it, whatever. You know? But all, all, that's irrelevant. So you because never ever think. We're talking, yeah, but this is the project. Do you ever think where this came from? Do you ever too, it's too much of a hypothetical for us to start. No, it's not. No, it's it not. is, no, it is, not. because none, none of us are in that situation. No, no, but and so, that, and so we're creating a false kind of reality no, 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 to start. No, I'm not. Caves exist. Humans, you exist. Watson exist. Yeah, but a situation. I'm not saying we're in Mars and there's a blue donkey. I'm giving plus. I mean, it's, it's the same. It's the same as... Donkey exists. Yeah, uh, 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 exist in Mars. What, what, what yeah. would yeah. <laughs> No, it's not. What would come to your mind? Would you think to yourself, what are these things on it? As I said, it's in, it's completely irrelevant no, as no, to where no, create no, because no, because everybody here and the ultimate question that we're debating, right, which is the existence of God or not, it, it all is based on our experiences where we do have information that we can you, see. You, so so it's too much of a uh, no, you, you see, know we could entertain that discussion. Give me one minute and okay. please tell me. When you look at this photo, yeah, and you see the oh, 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 yeah, you look at this and you see these patterns, you don't know the information, you see these bridges here, you see these cows. What would you think to yourself where this came from? Would you ever think that? I probably wouldn't think about where this came from. Alexi. So what, what I'm saying is, the fact that you would innately think where this came from is the innate disposition that you have. No, 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 I said I probably wouldn't think about I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No, no, no. So you just look at this and be like, no, I, don't, I mean, what's the difference? What's the difference between this and that? No and then that tries to By the way, do you know, if, 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 if everybody had that attitude, yeah. there'd be no science. Yes. You'd have no mathematics, yes. you wouldn't have these things. So when you start with that kind of understanding that, okay, I am going to be agnostic. This is based on a completely hypothetical thing. So, so this doesn't help your argument because it's based no, but, 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 but it does, it does. It does. It does. It does. It does. It to make your point, it you does. have to you know why? If you know why? No, no, no. no, no but, but I'll, I'll explain to you why. Because the whole premise of philosophy is that you can do thought experiments. Yes. You can say, if this, therefore that. You can have counterfactuals. So that's all we're doing. We're going through a process that we go through in everyday life anyway. Yeah, but you're, all you're doing is, let me tell you, I know from a day to day life you're a logical, rational man that comes to basic conclusions. You go to your house and see a place smash on the floor. There is no way in hell you're going to say a blue donkey flew through my house and the place smash on the floor. Earthquake, the cat. I'm, 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 I'm not. And that's what you're going to do. But I'm not going to do it. Is that when it comes to God and his existence, you would go to the most absurd thinking process. Logic, rationality. No, 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 because why would it have to be God? For example, why, 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 why isn't why it something not? completely different than creating the creative why, process? Why, it could be why everything but not God. No, 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 no. no, no it's not about why everything is not God. It's, it's about that I stand in the position where you know I see an object, whatever. Okay, so I, you know I see a tree, and then somebody is coming and saying, making a claim that it is God. And I'm not seeing any reason for why it's God and not something completely different. What's okay, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 sorry, one second. You said something completely different. Yes. I, I have no problem. So with maybe, you. maybe, you know. No, look, look, I don't have a problem with you saying yeah. it doesn't make sense that it's God. Something different. And it could be something different. But in this case, you're saying I can't take it any further. Exactly. Yes. That's the problem. Sorry, which case is the, the case of the bottle, you said, well, I'm not sure, but I, I'm not making a, uh, a conclusion. Well, I don't like the bottle example because it's too hypothetical it's too yeah, you're saying that's your white it's your whole brain basically and then you wake up in a yeah you're saying cave. that i've wiped my whole brain no no okay, okay, so, okay to me okay. I, that's not a, don't you know, mention we, no he's saying forget god it doesn't you don't have to say it's god give us another rational example uh, uh, explanation to the bottle sorry say again give another explanation a rational explanation to the bottle put god to a side give us another rational explanation to the god i'm not saying to, to the what sorry to the bottle all yeah. right in the in the in the cave forget god okay so what are the explanations I, 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 what are we talking about? We're talking about a, a bottle okay. and I'm okay. trying to give you it a rational You don't need to say it's designed as God. Give me another explanation. What, what does that mean? What an explanation. Is it nature? Like, why is is it evolution? Why is the bottle? I mean, I, again, it's impossible for me to comprehend how I would think. Because I'm not in that situation. The simple fact of the matter is...
is, I know, you're asking me, why do you think this bottle is designed and the tree isn't designed? Well, I'm not, my brain isn't white. I am told you why I think this bottle is designed and why that isn't designed, because of certain things on that bottle, because of my experience of things I know. But you could you, you so, so, I'm not you did, because, myself, the, the because there are that. different, this bottle has information that that the tree has doesn't. Information. Yes, it okay. does. No, no, no. Yes, it no, does. No, no. That tree does not have it writing. It has DNA. That tree does not have writing on it, okay? It has, and it writing, it not DNA. as information. DNA is more complex no, no, no. than this information on this. Yes, this is it doesn't absolute, matter. This is like a little, minute thing. Of course, if you compare of course. It to DNA. Of course. But you say DNA, no design, but the bottom. No, 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 no. Because this has writing on it, okay? But the DNA has let me information. Explain, let me explain. It's not the fact that this is information in the sense of just like an objective piece of information. It's a fact that it's a piece of information that I can attribute to humans, okay? okay. And it has other elements yeah. which I can attribute to humans. Then why Therefore, do you attribute the DNA to a designer? Sorry? Why don't you attribute the uh, DNA and its function to a designer? But what bit of information do I see in the DNA? There's so much information. Come on, are you for real? No, 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 you know no, no, as well. There is so much information in the DNA. No, of course. So, so, like, so then how do, how do you not equate it to a DNA? Let's wrap up. But why do you not okay. equate that? to a designer. No, because there isn't things that I see in the concept of DNA that makes me think if that it's been... If you study DNA, you're, you'll be mind blown. I, and if you'll be mind blown, if I told you okay. that DNA is a very, very complex machine... I know machine. that it's very complex. But if you know that, then why are you describing it to a designer? Because there isn't an... In there isn't factors there that I'm looking at. There is, at. you just said the functionality. Alexi, don't you, surely, like, you believe in evolution, basically, right? See, he's trying, he's trying to go to evolution, right? Okay. Okay. But, uh, so, no. so, like, if, yeah, let's go. Yeah, if there's... You're, you're always, when you see something, you're trying to work out whether it's designed. You're trying to rule out whether or not it could have come about by an unconscious natural process. And so, like, this, uh, like the, the plastic, because of its chemical properties, you know that plastic doesn't just emerge in nature. Right. Same with, like, silicon in a phone Where's something. Where's it from? Let me ask you, where do you think the bottle came from? So, the bottle, we know that the bottle, it must the DNA, have... The DNA, the DNA, so, the, so, the DNA could have come about through an, from an unconscious process, like evolution, preceded by abiogenesis, abiogenesis. So, so, yeah, and so, basically, you know, you have you have chemicals, and the chemicals react with each other, and eventually you get a chemical that can self-replicate. Okay. And then, once you have a self -re a self-replicator, then it can vary a little bit. It can mutate, and then at that point, you basically have the conditions necessary for evolution to so, occur. So you, you believe that that's a possibility to come from there. So yeah, that's yeah. Okay, that's so let me get this right. So and this is what I'm seeing. Where yeah. you have a, a biogenesis plus evolution. You have right. at least said that that might be, and even though it sounds to me it's absurd, yeah, because you're saying. Disorder brings about order. Unconscious things, random, random things bring about uh, order, and that is absolutely nonsense. Because if something, some if something, aren't evolution. No, you can't. It, it happens in geological no, examples no, no, as well. No, no, no. The question is this: Where did? Where, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. If, he, finds, if, he finds evolution occurring in cyclic processes. Evolution has got nothing to do with it. Let me tell you why. If the properties to make a chocolate cheesecake is not in this bottle, it is irrelevant how much time, how much. <coughs> evolution you give it because the properties to make that is not in the bottle so when you come and say um what was it um and um what was it? The disorder. The, dis the disorder will bring about order how could something that doesn't have we're conscious beings how could we g be given rise to consciousness when the very material itself doesn't have consciousness? It's crazy. By the way, so a, uh, it was nice talking. You got a bit of cognitive it, science for the uh, answers much. to that question. James, thank you very much yeah. as well. But the, 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 is that, sorry, quite but a little bit of passion here. I think these guys deserve to go to hell now because they aren't recognizing Tawheed or something. I, 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 I never said that because Islam is the only religion that believes that if the message of Islam hasn't reached the person, he doesn't go to hell. What about, yeah. what about atheists? Do they, no, even they atheists, hell? Christianity, Hindus, anyone that did and receive the message of Islam, God is the most trusted person. He's not going to probe you in hellfire. You're going to hear the right, message. Thank, thank you very much, Alexis. Thank, thank you. Sorry if I got the passion. No, dude, it's good. It's good. It's good. We're, 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 we're like that too. Thank thank you're stuck a bit, but hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, we had a nice discussion here. Um, obviously, we had to do a bit of, you know, uh, sticking on some people. But yeah, that's it. You know, we should have a nice conversation. And I'll be better with you. Don't forget to subscribe to Dawah Wise, inshallah, and share this video with your friends and family. Goodbye.